Cobra. Today I'm going to show you how to do a DIY bentonite clay mask with apple cider vinegar. So these are the ingredients that you're going to need. A non-metal bowl, you're going to need bentonite clay, water, apple cider vinegar, and I use olive oil. And I'm using Aztec Secret Bentonite Clay. Here are some of the benefits of using this on your hair. It's a clarifier that draws out impurities, it helps to moisturize, soften, and it also helps your hair become frizz free. So of course I have to warn you as well of the precautions. Do not use the bentonite clay with a metal bowl or a spoon when mixing it because it reacts when it comes in contact with metal, making it pretty much useless as far as benefits to your hair. You're gonna wanna make sure you wash this off completely before it completely dries or you'll just be picking at pieces forever and run some hot water down your drain. Let's get started. So here I'm just going to show you how I mix everything together. I use about half a cup of the bentonite clay. And I use about an equal portion of the apple cider vinegar, just a little bit less. And then I use about three tablespoons of the olive oil. And here I'm just going to put some water aside and I'm just going to put a little bit in at a time until it gets to the consistency that I like. So here you're just going to keep on mixing, keep on mixing until it comes out nice and smooth. You don't want any clumps and lumps left behind in your hair. How to use it. So you apply it to your hair in sections and this can be done to clean, damp, or wet hair. Keep a spray bottle handy. So let's get to applying. So I have my hair. I'm going to section it off. I'm spraying it with aloe vera juice. That's going to keep it damp so that I can apply the product. And you're just going to apply it as if you were applying a deep conditioner, I would say. You're just going to run it through every single section of your hair. Massage it in your scalp. Make sure it gets onto every strand and coats it nicely and evenly. And you're just going to repeat those steps throughout every section of your hair. You can see <laughs> that was miserable. The other half is left. So we're just gonna section that piece off and repeat the same exact thing, making sure to get it everywhere on every strand, on every single piece of hair you have on your head and your scalp and your edges and the kitchen back there. Everywhere. <laughs> So this is something that I noticed once I got to the end of applying it, I could already see a lot of my curls start popping back into place. 
So the next step, once your hair is fully coated, you can either leave it as it is or cover your head with a plastic cap to trap in the heat for extra penetration. I suggest you cover it. A hooded dryer or a steamer and then the direction said to leave it on for 25 minutes. So I'm just going to show you how I section it off so that this is not just dangling on near my face. Two ponytails and I'm going to use the remaining clay mask for my face. It helps to purify pores, detoxifies, ex exfoliates gently, clarifies, so many things that this magical clay mask can do for your skin and your hair. I set the timer for 15 minutes and then I covered my hair with two plastic caps as to ensure that it doesn't dry out. So I ended up leaving it in for over an hour. So it's time to wash it out. Bruh. And here I'm in the shower. I'm just going to wash it off. Well, off my face and then my hair, making sure to get it all out completely. This is a really important step. You don't want any of it left over in your hair. So take your time and make sure you just keep running your fingers through your hair, your scalp, just to ensure. And look at those curls. This is no product at all. I was already seeing the light to the end of the tunnel. So I'm, of course, going to deep condition. This is my favorite conditioner of all time and I'm deep conditioning because this mask is very drying because it's pulling out all those toxins and impurities. So here I am just detangling, sectioning off my hair, using the wide tooth comb first and basically doing the same exact thing I did to the other side. And deep conditioning is an important step because the apple cider vinegar in the clay mask can leave your hair a bit dry so it's important to bring that moisture back and just to balance everything out so now i'm just going to do the same thing to the other side twist it up because i'm going to apply my shower caps I use two here and then I use my heated cap and I always deep condition with heat and so I ended up going to sleep with the deep conditioner in my hair because I just wanted it to penetrate like extra and this is what my hair looks like the next day after I rinse out the deep conditioner this is no product applied yet I'm just going to just show you how my curls are looking nice and springy, how they bounced back. You see that shine, it looks very moisturized. I was loving it. time to moisturize and I'm going to use one of my favorite conditioners Aussie Moist this is like the holy grail conditioner as far as slip and providing moisture to my hair so I'm going in with another favorite of mine which is aloe vera juice I have it in a spray bottle <laughs> this point I've already applied some of the conditioner and I'm just going through and detangling look at that slip literally no tangles smooth runs right through and this is what my twists look like and so I'm just going to show you some before photos in case you forgot. Oh. My hair was looking rough. But I have to show you guys the before so that we can look at the after. 
so did the bentonite clay with apple cider vinegar really work? You be the judge. <music>